hi guys look at our banana chin chin stick around let's make this together to start with we need two very ripe banana yes guys you can see our banana is very ripe yes we are going to start making the process by peeling the banana and then cutting it into smaller slices yes guys we're going to cut our banana into a very small sizes you can decide to cut it to even slice it or into a smaller size than this if you like it because that way it will help the blender to grind it easily so once we are done or slicing our banana into smaller sizes then i'm going to grab my blender yes my rashnik or uh, blender cup then i'm going to go ahead and pour in my sliced banana yes guys then secondly i'm going to go ahead and add in one medium size egg yes as you can see guys one medium size egg is perfect for the recipe then lastly i'm going to add in a pinch of salt then i'm going to blend that and set it aside in another bowl i have two cups of all-purpose flour with some milk powder flavor yes guys so i'm going to create a hole and i'm going to add in my butter yes i have two tablespoons of butter in my bowl and that i'm going to be kneading so i just added it to it i'm going to add half teaspoon of baking powder to it as well and lastly i'm going to add in my two tablespoon of sugar sorry guys what is banana chinchin without cinnamon so i'm going to be adding half tablespoon teaspoon of cinnamon to this yes guys and now i am going to carefully mix everything together yes guys i'm going to dig in with my hand that's why i'm cleaning the spoon off so i'm going to mix it until everything is thoroughly combined guys don't forget we are making air fried chin chin which simply means we are not going to be frying it and that is why i use two tablespoons of butter look at it it looks creamy already now i'm going to create a hole in the middle and i'm going to pour in my blended banana and egg mixture yes guys look at it guys you want to be careful because with this you do not need any water yes guys the egg mixed egg and banana mixture is enough that's all that you need so you are going to carefully mix everything together until it is well combined if you notice that your dough is a little sticky then just go in and sprinkle in a little amount of all-purpose flour then you are good to go so you are going to make sure you mix it thoroughly you have it in a way that there is no flour showing in it then next thing is you want to floor your work surface my dough is a little bit sticky and that's why i have some uh, enough flour on my work surface so i'm going to mix it i'm going to knead in the flour on my work surface into my dough until i have the perfect consistency that i want it doesn't have to be too uh, hard guys it just needs to be in the consistency where it will no longer be so sticking now, to the surface now have. i have the so perfect consistency that i want so i'm going to go ahead and floor my work surface so i can roll out my dough yes guys my chin chin dough yes guys then i'm going to spread it carefully on my work surface yes guys make sure when you're doing this that your work surface is thoroughly clean yes guys you don't want to do this in a dirty environment on or on a dirty work surface yes guys so you have to make sure you clean your work surface very well yes guys so i'm going to keep spreading it just like this look at what we have now i'm going to go ahead to cut this into long shape using my pizza cutter yes guys 
doing this is so soothing. I enjoy slicing it and it is very very fast. It makes life easier. And guys, if you don't have a pizza cutter at this stage, you want to grab your knife and use that to slice it. Yes, I'm going to go ahead to do the slanting slicing as well so I can have my air fry chin chin in cubes and mind you when you're slicing it make sure you're mindful of the size that you're slicing so you don't have a chin chin that are too big don't forget that we are going to be using the uh, air fryer to fry this so you don't want anything that will look soft in the middle simply because it is too big so now i'm going to go ahead I've already oiled my air fryer rack, so I'm going to go ahead and spread in my chin chin to it, guys. So as you can see, I'm doing that already. So I'm going to carefully spread it until it is properly spread into my entire space in my air fryer. So I'm going to go ahead and use my hand to also do some spreading so as to avoid those ones that are overlapping in order to make a air fry chin chin to fry quick enough and without having to have some that are not cooked simply because they overlap so you want to try and make sure you separate them as much as you can so i'm going to go ahead and place this in my air fryer and fry it for a total of 12 minutes at 150 degree i'm using silver crest air fryer so and so now that this is all set i'm going to set it aside and then go ahead to slice the second side of it yes guys so i'm going to dice this into smaller chunks as well just like i am doing yes guys and while we're doing this the first batch is ready look at it it looks really really good and it doesn't look good alone it tastes super super yummy as well and i know you will ask for more then i go ahead to oil my air fryer sheets again before spreading in my second batch of chin chin to it yes guys and that is it about making banana air fried chin chin yes so i'm going to go ahead and make sure i carefully separate them and spread it on my air fryer rack so it can get done quickly look at what we have look at the second batch it's looking really really good guys it's looking really delicious guys so if you're still here till this moment and you are yet to subscribe kindly do so and see you in my next video bye